Hi everyone, welcome to Day 7, Section 2.6, Special Functions. Today's focus will be on piecewise functions, so we'll be able to graph and evaluate these. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it. So a piecewise function is simply a function that's broken up into different pieces, depending on certain x values or certain domain values. Okay, so if we take a look at example 1, graph f of x equals x plus 2 if x is greater than 3 and negative x minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 3. So as you can see we've got two tables of values. Okay, So we're going to break up this function into its two pieces and we're going to use these inequalities to be the x values. So that piece x is greater than 3 is going to go in this table and the function that goes along with it is that first part, f of x equals x plus 2. Okay, so the other piece we're going to put in our other table. So when x is less than or equal to 3, that will go over here. And the piece that goes along with it is f of x equals negative x minus 1. Okay, so when we're creating our table of values, I always have to include the uh, x value in our domain, okay? However, it tells us, the inequality symbol tells us that at that point when x equals 3, we're going to have an open circle, okay? And now to create the rest of my table, I choose values that are bigger than 3. So we'll choose 4 and 5. That'll be good enough for now. And we're going to plug it into this portion of our piecewise function. So when x is 3, we're going to get f of 3 to be 5. When x is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. And when x is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So this piece of our function is a ray that starts at the point 3, 5 and follows along the other points, okay? So we can go ahead and graph this piece. So at 3, 5, we've got our open circle and it passes through these other points. So we follow in that direction, okay? Let's go ahead and graph the other piece. So here, I'm going to include this value here with x in my table. So that's my first value. But because it's less than or equal to, I know at this point it's going to be a closed circle. Okay, so I want to choose values of x that are less than 3 in my table. So a 2 and a 1 should suffice. And now we're going to plug it into f of x and when we plug ne uh, 3 in, we get negative 4. When we plug 2 in, we get negative 3. And when we plug 1 in, we get negative 2. So this is going to be a ray, closed circle at the point 3, negative 4, following the, along the other ordered pairs. So let's go ahead and plot these points. So at 3, negative 4, we've got our closed circle. We're at 2, negative 3, and 1, negative 2, and we follow in that direction, okay? So we're taking these functions and breaking it up into pieces. Let's try the next one. So we notice this time there are three pieces to our function, okay? G of x equals negative 4 when x is less than negative 2. It equals x plus 1 if x is negative 2, uh, if negative 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 2. And it equals 2x if x is greater than or equal to 2. So let's use this portion here to start our tables. So I need one table where x is less than negative 2 one table when x is between negative 2 and positive 2 
and one table when x is greater than or equal to 2. Let's make this red here, when x is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so we have f of x equals negative 4 for that first table, x plus 1 for the second table, and 2x for the third table. Okay, so now let's go ahead and plug in. So since I see a negative 2, I have to include that in my table. But now I look at the inequality symbol, it's strictly less than, so I know I'm going to have an open circle at that point. And now I have to choose values that are less than negative 2. So negative 3 and negative 4. And when we plug in, since there is no x value for this g of x equals negative 4, my g of x will always equal negative 4. Okay? So if we go ahead, we recognize that this is a ray with an open circle at negative 2, negative 4, following in that direction. Let's go ahead and plot these points. So at negative 2, negative 4, we've got an open circle. Negative 3, negative 4, we're right there. And negative 4, negative 4, and we follow in that direction. Okay? Now, in this middle table, I see a negative 2, so we have to include that. I also see a positive 2. So we will include just those two points. This happens to be a segment, okay? Meaning we have two endpoints this time. So at negative 2, now I look at the inequality symbol, and that's a less than or equal to. So I know at negative 2, I'm going to have a closed circle. At positive 2, it's strictly less than, so I'm going to have an open circle. Okay, now let's go ahead and plug in. Well, when x is negative 2, we get g of x to be negative 1. When x is 2, we get g of x to be 3. So since this is a segment, I just need those two points, okay, to include in our graph. So let's go ahead and plot these two points. So at negative 2, negative 1, we have a closed circle. And at 2, 3, we have an open circle. And we go ahead and connect those two points. Okay? All right, finally, we're moving on to the last piece of our function. So again, since I see a 2 there, I need to include that in my table. And we talk about, is it going to be an open or closed circle when x is 2? And since it's greater than or equal to, we should recognize it's going to be closed. And now I just need to choose values of x that are bigger than 2. So 3 and 4. Okay? So now we're ready to plug in. When x is 2, we get g of x to be 4. When x is 3, we get g of x to be 6. And when x is 4 g of x is 8. So our graph will be a ray going in that direction. Let's go ahead and plot these points. So we're at the point 2, 4 with a closed circle there. And 3, 6. And then 4, 8 is up here. So we go ahead and now draw in our piece. So there we have it, a piecewise function with three different pieces. Let's move on to the next. Okay, so now I want you to try these next two examples on your own. So go ahead and stop the video here. Graph these two piecewise functions, creating your tables. And when you're done, come back and check your answer. Okay, hopefully we were able to give it a try and our two tables we're going to have x is greater than zero and x is less than or equal to zero and we'll have an x here and a one half x plus three over here so our table needs to include zero 
but at zero you should have an open circle and include the points one and two. So when x is zero, h of x is zero, when x is one, h of x is one, when x is two, h of x is two, and our graph will follow that. So we have an open circle at zero, zero, a point at one, one, a point at two, two, and we go ahead and we draw our function in. Okay, the next table, we should have included zero in our table, but recognize we've got a closed circle at that point. And then we have to choose values that are less than zero, so negative one and negative two. So when x is zero, we're going to get three. When x is negative one, we're gonna get negative 2.5, or sorry, positive 2.5. And when x is negative two, we're going to get positive two. So our graph should follow in this direction. And let's go ahead and plot this here. So we're at zero, three with a closed circle, negative one, and 2.5, and negative 2, 2, so we should follow along like so. So hopefully you were able to get that. Now let's see how we did on example four. So here we've got three tables, so we're going to create our table. The first table should include x is less than negative three, when f of x equals one, you should include the point negative three and choose values that are less than negative three, so negative four and negative five. We should have an open circle at negative three following in that direction. And our f of x value will always be one here. The second table, we should contain negative three is less than or equal to x, which is less than three. So we have negative three and three and 2x plus 1 for f of x. At these, we should have a closed circle at negative 3 and open at positive 3. And when we plugged in, we should have gotten negative 5 for when x is negative 3 and 7 for when x is 3. And then finally, the last table is x is greater than or equal to three, so we needed to include three into our table, and we'll choose values bigger, so four and five. And when f of x equals x, we will get three, four, and five as well. Closed circle at three, following in that direction. So our graph, if we graph our first table, we are at negative three, one, with an open circle, plotting those other two points and following along. And when we're in our middle table, we've got the point negative three, negative five. Closed circle at that point, and we've got an open circle at the point three, seven. So we'll be there, and we go ahead and connect, so our middle graph uh, should look like that. And then finally, the last piece, we've got a point at 3, 3, closed circle, and following at 4, 4, and four, 5, 5, drawing our line, we've got our last piece there. Okay, so hopefully you got that. If you didn't, uh, make sure you bring this to um, class tomorrow with any questions. Okay, finally, we want to use the equation from example four uh, to evaluate the following. I want to know what f of negative four is, what f of negative three is, and what f of five is. So this is really saying when x is negative four. Well, I have to look at my three pieces up in this example. Where is x less, or where is x equal negative four uh, satisfied? you should recognize that it's satisfied in this condition. Negative four is less than negative three. So when we evaluate, we get f of negative four equals one, okay? Well, in this second situation, 
f of negative 3, I'm really asking, what is f of x when x is negative 3? Well, which case is satisfied when x equals negative 3? We should see when x equals negative 3, it falls under this domain. So we're going to plug in to the middle piece. So f of negative 3 is equal to 2 times negative 3 plus 1. And we should get negative 5. And finally, this last one, f of 5, is when x equals 5. Well, which case is satisfied when x equals 5? You should recognize this last case. 5 is greater than or equal to 3. So we're going to plug that into this last piece here. So f of 5 equals 5. Okay? All right. So make sure if you have any questions, you come to class tomorrow uh, ready to ask those. Okay? Hope you guys have a nice night. Talk to you later.